recording on, I'm recording on this computer because I want uh, you to be able to have this recording afterwards. So to help you with your about page, you can say, are you a network marketer who's struggling to find prospects and grow your team? Are you tired of barely making ends meet and never having enough money to live life on your own terms? Would you love to have a source of truly passive income that enables you to live the life you dream of? Would you love to be able to retire financially free? Would you love to have an endless stream of qualified prospects coming to you every day? Well, I've got some solutions for you, exclamation mark. Let's get to the meat of the conversation, exclamation mark. How many hours a week should you be putting in in order to bring, bring in six plus figures of income a year? Do you think that you can build a substantial business in two hours a day? Is that what people are telling you? How long have you been in business? Have you achieved your goals and dreams yet? Hmm. Or maybe things haven't been going so well. Have you considered quitting? And believe me, you won't be the first business owner who entertained that thought. This poll is up for the next, I put a, this is about a poll, we'll forget that part. So then you can, and you, so you could fit that, those few lines into your about page with what you've got there. So I'll send you the recording when this is finished. And then that way you can play it and listen to it and think about how that fits in with what you've already got. Because okay. the only thing, the only, I can see all the beautiful things about you that you've got in there, but there isn't anything that's really speaking to the pain of the people that are reading it, right? Okay. Because when you wrote your about page, you weren't even thinking about branding yourself. Because most people don't. That's the last thing on their mind. They're thinking about, okay, how many people can I get to read my stuff? How many people can I get to sign up? That's what people are usually thinking. So you can then scroll down to the bottom of this. If you get on the side. So just click save. No, no, scroll down to the bottom. Ah. Uh. So way down at the bottom, after you finish writing, then you can enter a couple of times. And then you type in a bunch of, of keywords and you call them specialties. And you type in specialties and you don't have to write this down because this is going to be recorded. Okay. Specialties colon. And that's down at the bottom of your about page. And this is just for the search engines. It's not because you want everybody to read all these specialties. You want the search engines to read them so that you show up better in rank on the search engines. I'm sure you've probably heard over the years, SEO, search engine optimization. So the words that you want to use are words that you think the search engines are going to like better and better and better, and that more people are going to maybe type when they're searching. So world traveler would be one that would be under your specialties. So if you want to hit save, then we'll go to the next step. Oh, we're after two, darn. We'll just go to the next step here quickly. If you want to scroll down your page a little bit, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do. You've got experience here. Uh, keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. There's skills and endorsements. You can list up to 50 of these skills in there. You've got room to list, list up to 50 keywords. And all the keywords that you have here are what you list in your specialties at the bottom of your about page. So it's probably going to take you a day or two to get your profile up, up to snuff, so to speak. So don't worry about trying to do 
everything in one day. Just bite off. You know, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's right. <laughs> so I would put World Traveler in there somewhere if you haven't already got it in there. Under your skills. So what does the tech skill quiz do? Does that just help you to see yeah. what? Yes, and it, they base that on what you've got in your profile so far. They base it on your experience and your education and who you're connected to. So based on the types of people that you connect to. So they would suggest a Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. I wouldn't put those in. There are so many people that put those in, but they, you know, and you're not a programmer. So those are things that, so industry knowledge, tools and technology. So these are for people who are more into data. Oh, you could put Dreamweaver, I like that. Did you see that? Go back up a bit. Yeah, put a Dreamweaver is a good one. <laughs> oh, that's the assessment I've got to do. Oh, oh darn, okay. So I would just, um, X out of that and do a different one. Unless you want to take the, the assessment, but it doesn't click on all. What does it say on all? Well, it's all about techie stuff. Yeah. So you'll just have to work on your own. So one of the keywords you want to put in there might be network marketing. World traveler, network marketing. Your uh, communication, research, spontaneity, that's good. Uh, business management, marketing, sales things to do with business rather than to do with programming. These are all programming things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you get my drift. So that's all we're going to cover for today. And then we can, oh, that problem solving is good. Customer service, leadership, analytical skills. I wouldn't put that maybe, but training, management, marketing, sales and then you can add another skill well, I would um okay yeah I've already got here yeah, communication research and we're like how much where were you find those words before yeah so they'll just add to the skills list there now so it says show more <laughs> So okay, you, you can put in up to 50 skills and, and they're, they're really important because those are like keywords. And if you've got those keywords, once you've got your skills listed, then you know what kinds of words you want to maybe include when you write descriptions of your experiences that you've got up there. Because whatever experience or whatever education you enter on your profile, you need to put a description for each one. Write a description for each one. Well, which one for the skills? You have to write a description. Yeah, the skills and your education. So go all the way up. Not the skills, I mean the, the experience. Pardon me, there you are. You went past it. Sorry. You go down, down a little bit further. So see experience and education here. You need to write in a description for each one of those. I'm sorry, I'm, I was saying skills, but not, <laughs> I was meaning experience. Well, I just updated that because they asked.
It doesn't give you any way to, oh. You have to go down further. There you are. Where it says description, you just write it description. You've got 2000 characters available. <laughs> what, what like the world traveler and, and whatever experience I put in there. What, what, not all your experiences at once. You want to just put in your experience that you've had as a world traveler through description. And you can try not to use the word I at the beginning of your paragraphs. Try to start it a different way. You can say, as a world traveler, I have enjoyed the whatever. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. And then in your Sorry? education, in the education, you've got universe of life. <laughs> is that one you made up or is that an actual? Yeah, no, I made it up. Yeah, I think that's cute. <laughs> And my degree is experience life to the most. Field of studies, travel and exploration. So I should add more there like activities and social. You could do that, but I would also write a description about um, Are there? How, you, how you got your edu education, yeah. So that, you've, you've got about 2000 characters on each one of those descriptors. Okay, so those, their education and we're yep. done with so, this. Yeah, yep. so your homework is, your homework is, number one, uh, your background banner picture. Uh, and get a picture that you can put your, um, you can even use Canva to use your initials to make a really neat little logo. This is the time to start branding yourself. Okay, so should I continue trying to invite people and just leave that alone for now and just work on getting this profile and things up yeah, and running? Get your profile up and, and, and shining first because as soon as you start inviting people, they're going to check you out, right? Yeah, yeah, well, it says there's your a ton of people checking forward. me out. But you know, I still got 200 and something 291 connections with this yeah. with this that's you're doing good yeah so change your headshot and your background banner and uh, work on your headline bump that up a little bit you can get ideas by checking other people's profiles too you can go to my profile and get some ideas and then okay. and then on your about page you can read my profile and how I've written my about page. Uh huh. And how it speaks to other people and their pain. Okay. So it's getting late for you. Just a little bit. I'm not looking yeah. at the time. So that's my homework. So what's the best email I contact you on? Either one of those ones? Yeah, Christine at marketingmentress.com. Christine at marketingmentress. M-E-N-T-R-E-S-S. -E yeah, because there was two emails I got. There was a different one I got from you. Um, yeah, yeah, the market, Christine at Marketing Mentress. I have it pointed to my Gmail, Marketing Mentress at gmail.com so, so you said this one which was anyway that was this one that you sent me the red ox on on the other one yeah this one is that came from marketing mentress so don't use this yeah. one use the other one this yeah you can use either one it doesn't matter they both go to the same email box <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So once I've done that and just get you to check it out, just send you an email or I can always email questions. Yeah, yeah, just send me an email and I can check out your profile and you can email any questions you want. But in your subject line, when you send me an email, say uh, LinkedIn update from Trudy. Okay. <laughs> in the subject line, because I get 150 to 200 emails every day. Crazy. And I usually do a quick over, 
do or scan my my eye down the subject lines and see which ones have to be read first. Yes. Um, and then you'll send me the recording of this sometime. Yeah. As soon as we hang up, yeah. As soon as we hang up, I will report. I will uh, save it and and I put it on my YouTube and I'll send you the link. Okay. Awesome. This has been fun. Yeah. Well. I've taking me out of my comfort zone. So let's see where we, where we end up. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. I'm gonna say You're good welcome. night for me. Okay, good night. Have Bye. A good night. <laughs> there Bye we go. Now.